Welcome to Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker here at the New York Stock Exchange bringing you a review of this week's stock market. It was a strong week with the Dow Jones Industrial Average hitting record highs. On Monday, the National Association of Realtors pending home sales index for March showed a 3.4% increase, giving hope for a housing rebound after the severe winter weather. On Tuesday, the Case-Shiller Home Price Index for February was up 0.8% month-to-month and 12.9% year-over-year. Consumer confidence for April remained unchanged at 82.3. Wednesday was a big day with the ADP Employment Report for April showing private payroll growing by 220,000, slightly higher than expectations, and first quarter GDP surprised everyone, coming in at only 0.1%, down significantly from fourth quarter's 2.6%. Also, the Federal Reserve announced bond purchases would be cut an additional $10 billion to $45 billion a month. The Dow Industrials hit a record high on the news. Analysts felt that even though the GDP was disappointing, the fact that the Federal Reserve remained on course with its bond tapering shows that the first quarter slowdown was temporary. On Thursday, jobless claims for the week ending April 26 were 344,000, up 4.2 percent from the prior week and higher than analysts' expectations. Personal income for March rose 0.5 percent, while consumer spending jumped the most in nearly five years, up 0.9 percent. The Institute for Supply Management's Manufacturing Index increased to 54.9 in April, up 2.2 percent over March, and a bit stronger than expected. On Friday, the non-farm employment payroll report for April was released, and it showed an increase of 288,000, significantly higher than expectations. Also, the unemployment rate dropped sharply to 6.3 percent. Markets rallied slightly on the news and then pulled back. Now let's take a look at some stocks. Twitter reported disappointing growth of its user base and then proceeded to drop to an all-time low of 37.24 on Wednesday. However, earnings did show growth for the company and beat analyst expectations. Twitter reported $250 million in revenue, an increase of over 100% year-over-year, as well as a 5.8% increase in monthly active users during the reported three-month period. Energizer Holdings Inc., the popular manufacturer of Energizer batteries, caught massive attention in the market on Wednesday after the company released their second quarter financials showing a 16.3% year-over-year increase in earnings and also unveiled plans of splitting the company into two entities to better differentiate their strategies. One company will be focused on batteries and portable lighting products, while the other will be focused on personal care. The split is expected to be completed by mid-2015. Yelp Inc., a popular online review company, was able to beat analyst expectations on their 2014 first quarter earnings. The company reported net revenue of $76.4 million, an increase of 66% year-over-year, while cumulative reviews grew by 46%. Yelp also reported a net loss of $0.04 per share, a significant improvement from the year-ago loss of $0.08 per share. Yelp stock surged over 10% on Thursday. ConocoPhillips, the largest U.S. independent oil and gas company, released their 2014 first quarter earnings showing flat profit and increasing output. The company reported $2.1 billion or $1.71 per share of profit, relatively unchanged from a year ago. However, profits did beat expectations of $1.56 per share, primarily due to higher than expected prices for oil and natural gas production in the lower 48 states. This is Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker, and I'll see you again next week.